This is Matt Donnelly here at the Rap Sundance Live Interview Studio. I'm here with uh, Josh Fox, filmmaker of How to Let Go of the World. That's not the whole title. What, what's the whole title? How to Let Go of the World and Love All the Things Climate Can't Change. I love the premise of this film because I feel like of all the climate change stuff we see, it's very fire and brimstone. It's very, um, it's very nebulous about how far we've gone, how far we can go back. And this seems to be really rooted in what we have and what we can maybe enjoy or hold on to. The film, it doesn't pull any punches, though. Right. However, of course, about yeah, how, right. how dark and dire a situation that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. In fact, How to Let Go of the World being the sort of first half of the title is related to the fact that so many of the most difficult and dangerous uh, effects of climate are on the way and there's nothing right. we can do to stop them. The things that climate can't change, however, are what we need to either beat back the crisis somewhat or survive it. Right. And those things are courage, resilience, creativity, innovation, love, community, um, civil disobedience, hmm. democracy, human rights. These are the things that climate can't change. Right. And that is not to say that, you know, we're, we're going to, everything's going to be fine and, you know, we'll build a seawall around New York City <laughs> and life will continue. Life will continue, but our system, which currently is based on greed and competition and violence, has to change if we are to survive this calamity that's coming as human beings mm -hmm. with the things that make us human, with the things that, um, tell us that we are worth survival. Um, those are the things that climate can't change, and that's what we have to invest in now. And that's what goes on display in the film. The first half of the film is very, very dire. Mm -hmm. um, the second half of the film, I resolve to find the people who have no choice. And I find these civic virtues and these values, um, which are, are going to be increasingly important as we go forward. Sure. Well, and they are important now, but you know what I mean? In the face of a crisis, we need to pull on strong communities. We need to pull on our impulse to take care of each other rather than our impulse to tear things apart. Right. So the film goes to six continents, 12 different countries all over the world, from China to the Amazon to, um, to Australia, to the South Pacific, to Iceland, across America, um, finding the people who, are, uh, who, who get up every day and know that they have to do this because their island is about to go underwater, yeah. or uh, indigenous environmental monitors mm -hmm. in the Amazon going 12 kilometers into the jungle just to find the oil pipeline that's broken and is spilling all over the, uh, you know, defending their own um, fishing grounds. So, you know, it's those types of moments of necessity when we realize this is not abstract. Right. This is, because for most people, I think climate change is always oh, something in the future. <laughs> yeah. But I'll tell you this, in Brooklyn, there are condominiums that are being sold on the coastline of Brooklyn, right on, on the East River there. The mortgages are going to outlast the coastline. Wow. Oh my God. You know, because the sea level is rising. And Miami Beach currently right now, they're flooding intersections at midday, uh, at high tide. Um, regularly, those houses are worthless because no one can buy a house that's going to be underwater. And these are underwater not just financially, but um, <laughs> actually. Thank you so much, Josh. All right. Thanks Cheers. so much. Congratulations. All right. Wonderful.